Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my name is Mike Searson. I'm with Live Your Life Running, learning to make your life better. Going to talk about astronomy, light speed, and time. Busy time of life for me, so I decided to use a past post about science and space. Post originally was posted on March 6, 2017. I hope that you enjoy. Going to post something a little bit different than from the career area. Going to talk about science. I am not a physicist, and the mathematics of physics get me lost. I do not understand the math. I do enjoy physics from an amateur or layperson viewpoint. I enjoy learning about physics ideas that are believed to be true, but do not seem to make sense from my common sense perspective. One idea is dealing with time. From my own personal experience, time travels at the same rate into the future, no matter what you happen to be doing. The time clock is moving into the future at the same rate. You can read about time travel in the world of fiction, but in the world of reality, time is consistent going into the same rate into the future. Time is consistent going into the same rate into the future, no matter what you happen to be doing. So when you hear about the idea of time and traveling at light speed, strange things can happen when a person travels at light speed. As I understand it, time can travel at different rates of speed going into the future. You cannot go back into time, but you can go at different rates of time into the future. If I understand it, and if the physics is correct, you can build a time machine going into the future, but not the past. Not sure of the specifics dealing with the math, but just giving an example to express an idea. If you're traveling in a ship at light speed, you may believe that you're traveling for only one day, while people on the planet Earth would believe that you're traveling for several years. Time travels at a slower speed inside the spaceship than outside the spaceship. Time appears to be something that can be measured traveling at different rates of speed into the future. One place on the internet that gives a good explanation of this is from a science show called Cosmos done, co done by Carl Sagan. It was a science show that was done in the 1980s. The description of this resource, it is actually a YouTube resource called Time Dilation, will be at, posted in the description below the video. Sometimes fact is stranger than fiction, including light travel and time, or traveling at the speed of light and the speed of time. Hope you enjoyed listening. Now for the legal stuff. We are not providing any investment, accounting, tax, legal, or other professional advice, and nothing in this podcast shall be deemed a recommendation to take or pursue any action. You should consult with your own professional advisors with respect to your own individual circumstances and needs. Decisions based on this presentation are your sole responsibility, and we are not responsible for any action you take or decision you make in reliance upon this podcast. Thank you for listening.